Hi Rob and Hobby King. This is Jason here. I contacted you last night about the about the Stearman. Um, I came across as a little bit frustrated and I thought I'd do this quick video and see if I can help you to understand why. Now, I'm a student. Um, I'm on a fixed income, so money's pretty tight to me. And the Spearman is a, a fairly big purchase. When you put everything with it, engine servos and everything else, it comes out as quite a bit. But I just wanted to show you around a little bit as well. You might remember this one. The Hobby King F14. Durafly. BF110. The T33. Cree Cree. <laughs> the all Hobby King stuff. All good stuff. Well, except maybe the uh, the Tomcat. That wasn't a good plane. But the rest of them were all good. This is one of my favourites from Hobby King. The little Skybuster. I have built and crashed this plane so many times. But it's always worth rebuilding. Remember the pterodactyl you guys used to sell? Discus lost launch glider. The old cat two two three. Even um, the cub B seventeen. Hobby King does do some really great stuff. Now last night I got really frustrated because, like I said, I'm on a fixed budget, and this steerman was a huge purpose. As you can see, most of my other planes they're all foam you know they're all much cheaper foamies this was the one that i was really gonna branch out with but everything just went wrong with it. everything i did was horrible so i wanted to make this video for you just to give you an idea you write down i don't know if you can see them here the bag of screws which are all rusty you know, for something that's fresh off the production line, that's really not good enough. Um, all these bits that insert, this one in particular was on the wrong angle. This was 45 degrees in like that. I had to bend it around with a piece of pliers, which has broken the wood on the inside. Because at the time, you know, I was just following the instructions. You put them in the assigned grooves, and you glue them. So if the glue's in the wrong spot, it means it's glued in the wrong spot. So they're all arrow guided in, brakes and all. Same on this side. I mean, some of the ones on the top wing, they wouldn't go in at all. They were uh, made on the top of ribs of the wing, so you couldn't even push them in. That was, you basically got to break the wood underneath it to get them in. That was crazy. Same as this one, that's had to break the wing to stand it up straight the um, the center section of the wing I'm not going to pull it apart and show you just because that's a huge pain in the butt but I took a photo and sent it to you last night the tags that come out to the side and join it into the wing the bolster around it was broken in the factory you could see it was a break in the factory and they've repaired it with putty and whatever else looks like a really nice repair but the clips twisted so that wouldn't go into the wing so I had to break that and re-glue it and it's, it's, everything has gone wrong with this plane and for the you know the Christmas the big money spend where everything is just supposed to be beautiful and shiny it's just been a horrible horrible nightmare moving on to the wing struts now I've double checked all these you should be able to see that they are in the right spots and I can you know, you know they're in the right spots because they're all flush with where they're supposed to be. But um, they don't all reach. I mean, they're all there, but these ones don't reach. Now, if I force it, I can, with a lot of force, bring these down and I could do it up. I'm thinking but that is a hell of a lot of stress to put on the wing and I don't think it should be like that so the other option I then thought of is I can try and modify them and you know change the length of some of them 
I mean, if I put this one on first and start this way and do these top two first, then this back one, the rear, sits up about here. It, it's just terrible. So like I said, I can force it to fit, but it's not a good solution. I mean, it's going to warp the whole wing. Now, my issue is if I were to cut them, how do I get the incident for the wing light? I mean, the only thing that's holding the wing on the right angle is these struts. And if I change that, tilt it forwards or backwards and get that wrong, then it's just going to fly terrible. It's going to crash and I'm going to feel even worse. Which makes me just not want to continue with this build because it's just awful. I mean, the first thing I noticed, I'll see if I can spin it around to show you, this cockpit. See how it doesn't line up there? I'll try and come around. It's all flush on that side and all hanging over on that side. And to be honest, that's part of the, the issues I have with returning to you returning it to you as well because there's a lot of modifications I've made on this trying to get the thing to work like on the inside of the canopy under there I've tried cutting a new hole for the little push-pull pin to go into and try and line it up that way so the plane is no longer in new condition but that's only because it doesn't work if that makes sense the same as the these I'm not going to be able to remove out, so you're not going to be able to resell it if I send it back to you, and that's not fair on you guys. But at the same time, having a plane that's this badly made isn't fair on me either. I got these uh, push rods, or the clevises that go on the push rods. None of them fit. They don't screw on. I mean, if you've got a pair of pliers on the rod and a pair of pliers on, on this, you can force them on. I mean, you can force them to fit, but they don't screw on by themselves. The quality is just terrible. I think one, one I had screwed on by itself. And granted, I haven't tested all of them, but I've tested about five of them and only one of them screwed on by itself, which is, which is pretty bad, to be honest. Like, even the spinner. Where did I... That was it. The spinner for the prop. I'm using the recommended prop, the, um, the 16 or the 15.8 by Hobby King. Now have a look at this spinner. How on earth is this spinner supposed to fit on this prop? You know? It's pretty terrible. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to, to do with that if I just try and get a hacksaw and cut down there or something, I guess. But, for a kit that's supposed to be your top of the line, you know, quality, 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 it's really bad. Now, there are, I haven't even got to try to mount the motor or, you know, mount the tail or anything else. And from the rest of it, I just think there's going to be more and more problems. And the clevises, they don't actually go around the push rods. I mean, you can get these, these metal clevises on. Oh, I snapped the last one trying to put it on. The arm actually broke off the side because they won't close over the top of it. The same with these uh, the little nylon clevises. They won't close over the top of it. I mean, you can fit them through the hole, that's fine, but you can't close it. I even tried using fuel hose, like the end of the fuel hose around the clevis to keep it closed. But even that's not enough. It's just, it's just bad. And that was the other thing too. Um, on your product page with the, um, with the aileron servos, it says four kilo servos, but if you look at the instructions, we've got page five, it says six to seven kilo servos. So you've advised me to buy the wrong servos as well, which is just gonna uh, work towards a crash. Um, 
But like I said, I know returning it in this condition isn't fair on you, but it's not fair on me either. So let me know what you think and maybe we can come up with a solution, hopefully. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys.